Hey guys! Um, this is really exciting. We get to take a hot air balloon ride for the first time. Ooh, so this is how you get from one world to another. Wow, I've seen you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Yeah, that, that sounds awesome. Okay, so the Artisan's world is completely done. We are free to go back to any previous world at any point in the game if we would like, but I think it'd be really cool to just finish it as we go along. And I'm really excited for this. This world has some of the best music in the entire game. Let's see what this guy has to say. Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. We cover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Isn't that always the goal? Get money. So this is the first world where, um, like, in the home base, people are going to attack you. Or not people. These are Norks, remember in the last episode? I was talking about how all these, like, bad creatures are called Norks. These are all Norks, these little frog guys. I'm gonna try to get all the treasure in the home world in this episode. Um, which won't be too bad. This is a very fun home world. So once you kill these little guys, so you can see them over there, you can take control of their cannons, which is awesome. So let's light that guy up. Oh, <laughs> so much fun. Oh, I love it. The cannons are so fun. It's just like a really cute game mechanic. I really enjoy it. And the way that they explode is so funny. And then we go take their treasure. Yeah. So I know, um, I can't remember which episode it was in. It was either the last one or the one before that. I was talking about different types of YouTube videos that I like to watch that just bring me joy because they're made by young people who don't know any better. And it's just very funny to me. And I think I found another type of those videos. <laughs> I'm like really entertained by people who are, oh, okay. I guess I can't shoot over there. I'll use this cannon. Anyway, I'm really entertained by like college freshmen complaining about their roommates. Ooh, it's so funny. Cause once again, it's like, you know, these kids first experiences with certain aspect of life, so it's like their first time living with another person, which it can definitely be difficult, for sure. Living with a roommate when you, you know, had your own room your whole life and then you're like suddenly responsible for doing all your own dishes and chores and everything, and your parents did all that stuff for you, you know, it's really hard. So. I'm not gonna make fun of them for that, but some of the stuff that they complain about is so funny. It's like the title of the video is total clickbait and it's like, worst roommate ever, roommate from hell, bleh. And they're like, one time my roommate didn't do her dishes and I was like, oh my God. And even though like, I don't really do my dishes ever, it really bothered me that she didn't do her dishes. It made me really upset. <laughs> but, you know, I gotta admit, the more I watch these videos, the more I'm like, oh my god. Was I the bad roommate? I think that I was the bad roommate. Oh no. I actually, I was pretty lucky. Um, I was allowed to choose my roommate freshman year of college, and I met this girl... Courtney at, um, at like the freshman, it wasn't really orientation, but it was like anyone who had early admission to the college, um, could go to this event. And, um, we both got early admission because we were nerds and we both really wanted to go to this specific engineering school. 
I met her there. We had been talking on Facebook beforehand. And I really liked her. She was really funny. And then she was an awesome freshman year roommate. So we decided to get an off-campus apartment together sophomore year. And we had made a few friends by then, of course. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna drown myself, apparently. Um, we had made a few friends by then, so we had a couple of our close friends move in with us. They were all really cool people, and everyone says like, oh, don't live with your friends. And in a way, I'm, I kind of regret living with people that I really liked because it you know, you're gonna have roommate tension no matter what. Like, you're a kid, you're like a baby adult who's just living by yourself for the first time. You're gonna screw up sometimes. You're gonna not do your chores sometimes. It's gonna be difficult. And the last thing you want is for these petty roommate arguments to be with your best friends. But I'm glad I lived with them because it was like built-in friends all the time. You come home from class, you have your friends there, you know, it, it just, it was a nice support system to have, but at the same time, I'm really embarrassed that I lived with my friends because I was going through a hard time in college. I didn't have a good time the whole time I was there, and I definitely have this immature tendency that I'd like to think I've grown out of. Um, but I tend to take things out on the people that are closest to me, and I feel like if everyone were to be honest with themselves, they would realize that they do the same thing. And, you know, it's easy when you've had a bad day, or like you're not doing good in a certain class, or whatever it is that's really getting to you, it's easy to just like, look at your roommates and be like, oh, you didn't do the dishes, or like, I'm always the one to clean the toilet, and like, you're the worst and I hate you. So, I don't know. I'm a little embarrassed that it was my friends that I took that out on, but, you know, what are you gonna do? I ended up living alone junior and senior year, which I think was a good move for me because it helped me realize like exactly what I was doing that made me maybe not the best housemate because I was alone. So if I didn't do something or if I did something wrong, I was the only one who had to deal with the consequences of it. And you know, that sucks sometimes. If you don't like doing dishes and you live by yourself, you know, you're never gonna get lucky like I just got lucky with that dude. Wow, holy crap, I thought he was gonna run away, but nope, flamed him in the butthole. <laughs> um, yeah, you're never really going to get lucky and have your roommates do your dishes for you if you live alone. It doesn't work like that. So, I don't know, those, those are kind of like little things, but as a young adult, it's hard to learn how to respect other people's space and, uh, you know, learn how to have shared responsibilities, but I'm glad that I lived in an off-campus apartment where not everything was done for me because I feel like that's good practice, you know, if you end up living with a significant other. The last thing you want to do is ruin your relationship with someone that you love very much because you're too stupid to know <laughs> how to do your laundry or like how often to do certain chores or what cleaning products to use on different surfaces. It sounds really petty, but those are very important things when you are learning how to be an adult and you should probably have those figured out before you go and live with someone that you really, really care about. Like if you're living with one of your best friends straight out of college, or if you're living with someone that you're dating, get that shit figured out. I almost feel like I should have a series where I talk about different things about being an adult that I've figured out because I think that that's funny and it's also interesting. And sometimes you get good hints and stuff. I know Grace Helbig has some funny videos sometimes about stuff she'd figure she's figured out about being an adult and they're they are kind of interesting you know little interior decorating tips to make your apartment feel a little bit more homey stuff like that i don't know maybe i'm not experienced in life enough to be doing that but on that note it looks like 
Yes, we have gotten everything in the Peacekeeper's homeworld. So in the next episode, I'm going to try out one of the portals here. We can get on with collecting these eggs and dragons. It's going to be great. See you guys next time. Thank you.